There's only one word we can use to describe our new project grandpa, and that is big. If we're going to get this old boat sailing into the 11s, we're going to need some big horsepower. So that's why today we're going to show you the complete build-up and dyno test of the Dart Big Block Chevy 509 that's destined for this big new project. And just in case I didn't mention it earlier, this project is big. We gave Dart a list of requirements for Grandpa's new engine. We needed a big block Chevy with at least 600 horsepower, built for the street but also able to service well in autocross and drag strip racing. Now Dart's answer, a nasty 509 rat motor based off their infamous big end block. It has Dart Pro 1 heads and a 10 to 1 compression ratio that's going to have to prove itself on Dart's dyno. Will we make 600 horsepower? Will Grandpa make it into the 11s? Let's head over to Michigan to find out. The short block started out with Dart machining the block in-house. Their big M block is available in both tall or standard deck height, as well as three different bore sizes. That means this block is good for any build from the popular 427 to over 700 cubic inches. That's versatility. Dart selected their 9.8 deck height version and set the bore at a large 4.5 inches for Grandpa, a measurement not achievable with a stock engine block. That means our engine can breathe better and make more power. We cast the big M block in the Midwest United States using class 32 iron for high strength. And we machine in a priority main oiling system which feeds oil directly to the main bearings before the top end of the motor so that we always have good oil pressure and volume at high RPM. Now that Dart has finished the prep work, let's get started with the assembly. Dart started by installing the crank. Howard's Promax 4340 crank is USA made and features a four inch stroke and internal balancing. Next, mating the crank with the pistons are Howard's ultimate duty forged billet rods that each measure in at 6.135 inches. Both will work along with the cleavite rod and main bearings. To get a streetable compression, Dart chose SRP pistons with a small dome to produce a 10.1 compression with a 4.5 inch bore, with JE's Pro Seal piston rings providing the sealing. Dart installed all eight pistons and rods and fully torqued the rod bolts. With the short block almost completed, it was time for the valve train. Dart went with an off-the-shelf comp cams hydraulic roller cam with a 540 valve lift on the intake and a 560 on the exhaust with a 242 intake and 248 exhaust duration at 50. Lobe separation was 110 degrees. That puts our RPM range at 2800 to 6100 and a shift point of about 6000 RPM. We also used a comp cam's adjustable billet timing set and comp's two-piece billet aluminum cover. Because every pound counts on big old grandpa, a professional product's lightweight balancer was used. To keep enough oil flowing freely, a Moroso oil pan were bolted on and we were ready for the long block. The long block started with the heads. Dart selected their Pro One aluminum cylinder heads with a 310cc intake port volume. They then outfitted our heads with a 2.25 intake valve and a 1.88 on the exhaust. Dart Pro One heads, like all our castings, are made in the Midwest US. We use a C355 T61 aluminum alloy for superior strength, particularly at elevated temperatures. The ports and chambers are developed to be run as cast without requiring any additional work and they're modeled similar to what you would get with a ported head, except without the extra cost involved. After bolting down the heads, Dart installed a set of Harland Sharp 1.7 to 1 ratio stub mount rocker arms, comp cams, high-tech push rods, and high-energy roller lifters, finishing off Grandpa's valve train. To divide the air between the two heads, Dart went with their popular single-plane intake manifold. This high-rise manifold was designed to equalise cylinder-to-cylinder fuel distribution and maximise air velocity and was bolted down in no time. Topping the long block is a quick fuel Q-series carburetor, complete with billet metering blocks and an aluminum main body. For the ignition, we used a Mallory 42 series distributor and plug wires. Once we got those installed, that meant our engine was ready for the dyno. Our hopes were high as Dart strapped down Grandpa's muscle to their dyno. Would we make 600 horsepower or have to rethink everything from scratch? We would soon find out. The 
The objective we were given was to create a big block combination that would have good street manners, plenty of vacuum for power brakes and accessories, and yet make a lot of power to move a heavy car on the drag strip or on a road course. We went with a 509 cubic inch combination, which is something we've had good luck with and we wound up producing 650 horsepower and about 613 foot-pounds of torque on the dyno. Back at the Power TV garage, we just saw how to make over 600 horsepower with off-the-shelf parts, a stock-style valve train, and plenty of engineering from Dart. So it just goes to show you whether you're pro stock, pro touring, or pro gram part, Dart have the components for the engine in your project, no matter how unusual or big it may be. Coming up next, getting our engine into Grandpa. Will he make it into the 11s? Stay tuned to find out.